Drawing Defects. Click on the button here that says Defect. Click OK on the small help screen which will describe to you how to create the defects. Some defects have already been created so we can click on here to delete all defects. Confirm. Now on this side we can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible defects. I will click on defect one. First of all you must draw the defect by pressing the left mouse key and just drawing the defect in the boxed area. Then, second stage, draw it its position around the circumference. It could be here or here or anywhere like that. We can put its length something like that and read the length at this position here, length 76 millimeters. Or we could put in here the length here of 30 millimeters, and that's now set it to 30. Clicking on defect 2, I can draw another defect by clicking the left mouse key and drawing the position on the circumference here. This is defect 2. I can delete defect 2. Yes. Defect, defect 1, I can delete defect 1. Defect 1 I will draw again. This time I will use the right mouse key. The right mouse key gives a smooth line defect which simulates lack of fusion. I will delete the defect again. If I use the left mouse key I can draw any shape and it's considered a volumetric type defect. A slag, for example, would, would be a similar thing to this, or a crack. That is the left mouse key. So the left mouse key for volumetric type defects. The right mouse key gives straight defects which are for lack of fusion type defects. The third type of defect is, is again volumetric and we can increase the size of a circle by using this pointer here. Click in the drawing, in the weld cross section position it on the circumference and we can then detect that. So to summarize, left mouse to draw volumetric defect and right mouse to draw lack of fusion type defect. volumetric defects, the size of the uh, circle can be adjusted on this bar here, like that. Each defect as we draw it, we can save it for later use. So if I go to defect 2, I could load exactly the same defect again. So I've got two defects of the same shape. So I'll now delete all defects. I will draw a crack-like defect here. I'll make that a bit thinner. A crack-like defect in defect one. Position and circumference there. Defect 2, a type of porosity, put it there, not much length, similar here next to it. A 
have one more for the porosity. Put it next to it like that. And number five defect, I will create a lack of fusion. I'll put it on the circumference there. Number five, I will create a volumetric type root defect. And number seven, I will create a toe crack using the lack of fusion rightmost button there. So we now have several defects, quite a few defects. Click, re-click defects here to come out of it, or you could click OK here. And now we could now test and see if we can detect these uh, defects by going around the circumference with an angle probe. 